they say that when life gives you lemons, you should make lemonade. But that's easier said than done when your lemon is a big purchase. You may have heard of lemon laws. These are laws aimed at protecting consumers when they buy something big like a car. The requirements can be very specific and the legislation varies from state to state. But don't worry, we'll break it all down for you and show you how it works. The most basic way to describe the lemon law is when you purchase a very expensive product, for example, a car, and it's still under warranty and for one or two reasons you're having issues with it and the manufacturer or the vendor is not assisting you with the product. Galvin, who is with the Better Business Bureau, says long before you dive into the needy greedy lemon laws and whether or not you qualify, it's important to know what you're buying. You want to make sure that you understand the product that you are purchasing and, you know, the warranty. It's really important to really, really dive into the warranty and really take the time to read it um, and see if your purchase and again, if whether it's a card or something else actually falls into the lemon law jurisdictions. There is a federal lemon law and then there are individual state laws. The federal law may offer a smaller payout than state laws, but its advantage is that it covers all products that come with a written warranty. While many state laws only cover vehicles, and like all state laws, they vary as you cross borders, so make sure to know the rules where you're shopping. If you're buying a used car, you might want to have it inspected by a qualified mechanic that you trust. And note that if this is a transaction that is private between two individuals, you may not get covered. So if you think you have a lemon and don't know where to start, know that there are free resources like the Better Business Bureau's Auto Line, which can help you navigate the process. Or if you want legal representation, you can get an attorney. If you are looking for an attorney, you want to make sure that they're licensed with the state and that they actually do handle lemon law cases. So it does take a little bit of research from consumers. And while lemon laws will offer some protection, it's so new as the buyer to be a savvy consumer and look out for the red flags. For example, the Triple B saw a lot of issues with flooded vehicles hitting the market last summer. But of course, the vendor is not going to specify that and they're going to tell you that it's still under warranty. So basically, you're purchasing a vehicle that has damages that unfortunately, depending again on the state, might not be applicable under a lemon law. For a more detailed breakdown of the lemon laws across New England, be sure to check out our website, nbc10boston.com.